With the Fredlets all in agreement, the three were ready to go. Sunny clicked in the creator's portal wand. She clutched it in her paws. They had used it before to get to the human world, and it was their gateway back home. Sunny had borrowed it from the lair of their creator on one of their previous visits. She beamed at her brothers. All right, bears, she cheered. She glanced to Benny, then Eddie. Her eyes then fell to the box in Eddie's arms. And she paused. She still wasn't sure what this creature was. How do you address them? Um, they were yellow. Aunt Nico was yellow, but this creature in, in a box didn't look like a chicken. They were too bright to be a pumpkin creature. Maybe they were a bear? Huh. Sunny was stumped. What should we call them? She asked. Benny leapt away from the box. He shrugged. He didn't mind. He was sure they'd find out later. Besides, right now it's time for them to go home. Benny's mind was somewhere else. Eddie looked down at the creature in his arms. Huh. He paused. He wished this yellow stranger could answer for themselves. Maybe they could, Eddie thought. Maybe once they get them all put together, they could figure out who this creature was. Eddie slowly nodded his head. They would find out soon. They could do this. Sunny shrugged. Eh, they'll tell us later, she decided. She checked her wand. She turned the bulb and then pointed it to the wall. She clicked on the switch. With a swirl of rainbow coming from it, the portal to the nightmare realm appeared before the Fredlets. Sunny checked over her pack. Let's go home. The three plus one stepped into the portal. The portal closed behind them. And that is where our story comes to an end. For now. <laughs> Hi, my lovely cupcakes. Elsie Rowe here. I hope you all are doing wonderfully today. I'm really sorry this video took a little longer to make, but life happens, and one of my best friends is coming up and visiting me this weekend. So I got really distracted trying to clean the whole house, getting ready for him to be here. Y'all are so excited. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the comic. It was really fun to make. And if you listen to the whole video, then you know that yes, this is kind of a pause in the comic, or really the end of the first book of The Adventures of Bonnie the Baby Bunny, or Baby Rabbit, or whatever, I changed it so many times. The main reason for that is because I was thinking logistically for new readers and continuing readers, having big chapters like this is kind of intimidating to go back through. So I'm going to separate the comic into books. This is book one complete. Well, it's not a complete book, but think of the books as seasons. Season one, or in this case, book one is done. We're gonna have a little two week break between the next comic start. The comic will be coming back. Another then between those two weeks, y'all are still getting content. I'm not done with y'all. What we're gonna do is that we are getting two reaction videos. I get I bet y'all probably know what the reaction videos are. We've gotten so much new Five Nights at Freddy's content, the new security, the new security breach DLC. I think there's a Help Wanted DLC too. And after eight years, almost nine years, the FNAF movie trailer has finally come out. So guys, I am so excited. So during our little break from the comic, y'all will be getting reaction videos of all the FNAF stuff. Y'all, I'm so excited. And hopefully I'll do some brainstorming. Let's see if we can do some content about the movie, about the DLC. I am so excited. I hope you guys really like it. I hope y'all really enjoyed this comic. It was really fun to go back and really plug in the holes. There were a lot of holes in the first comic, mostly because the way I, I don't, um, <laughs> I feel old saying this. Um, so a big chunk of the Five Nights at Freddy's lore before we knew anything was very much given in pieces. Like you got dropped information that you had to look into and find. And that's how this comic was formed. It was in, this comic was from 2015 to 2016. So game one and two, I think came out and 
parts of game three. Yeah, spring trap had just was just a thing. Very much reapred. We had just been introduced the William Afton family. We had just introduced a good chunk of this. So I did not have the full story when I was writing this, and that's completely okay. It was such a fun experiment trying to fill in all the holes. It was I loved this comic. So getting to go back and fill in some of the extra holes and give y'all some fun little Easter eggs for later and connect the whole story together. Mwah. I absolutely love it. Well, thank y'all so much for joining me for this episode. I can't wait to see y'all in our next video. Bye. <laughs>